Hi everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel! Have you tried making banana cookies with chalk nut? So for today's video, I will be sharing you my own version of banana chalk nut cookies recipe with a twist. This banana chocolate cookies recipe is so delicious, soft, and have a cake-like texture and lots of flavor that everyone seems to love. It's one of the best banana cookie recipes I have here in my blog. Aside from that, this recipe is so easy to make with few ingredients. You can have this in just 30 minutes. So if you want to know the complete process, please watch this video from the beginning up to the end. But before we start, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, just click the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please feel free to share it with your friends. One of the advantages in making cookies at home is you can control the amount of ingredients, especially the sugar. I personally preferred pastries that are not too sweet. So in this recipe, I lessened the amount of sugar, but the flavor and texture were still retained. I also added chalk nuts with a twist to give an extra flavor. For those who haven't tried this, chocolate is a crust peanut and a chocolate bar similar to the texture of a pineful boron. It's nutty, it's chocolatey, a bit gritty but it will definitely taste most taste buds of any Filipino. Actually, this is one of my childhood favorite candies and even my family loves it. So please try this super delicious banana chocolate cookies recipe for your family and friends and they will surely enjoy! Now, let's start baking! Once you start baking, it is very important to have all the ingredients measured and ready to go. And here are the ingredients! 2 cups all-purpose flour sifted, 2 or 3 large bananas peeled and mashed, 1 brown egg, 1 half cup cocoa sugar, 1 half cup dried roasted walnuts lightly crushed, 1 half cup dark chocolate chips, 8 pieces or 67 grams chocolates, 1 teaspoon ground cinnamon, 1 8 teaspoon salt, 1 tablespoon baking soda, and 113 grams or 1 stick unsalted butter. While preparing the ingredients, here are the banana health tips. Now let's start doing the first step in baking. The first thing we do is peel the bananas and then just press and mash them with a fork until the bananas are well mashed. By the way, I recommend you to use very ripe bananas because the riper the bananas are, the more flavor they have. 
As you know, banana has always been one of my favorite ingredients in baking and cooking because aside from being delicious and nutritious, when banana cook, their sugar begins to caramelize which brings out their natural sweetness. It's a great way as well to amplify their overall flavor and it helps make a healthy treat or quick dessert for everyone. That's why I love banana so much. So we're done mashing the bananas. So next, in a separate mixing bowl, add the unsalted butter. Then add the cocoa sugar, beat them together with the spatula until light and fluffy. As I mentioned earlier, I personally prepared pastries that are not too sweet. So in this recipe, I lessened the amount of sugar from 1 cup to half cup only since the bananas and chalk nuts are sweet already. I also use cocoa sugar for a healthier option. So for those who don't know, this cocoa sugar is derived from the coconut palm tree and touted as being more nutritious and lower in the glycemic than regular sugar. On the contrary, we've been using this for many years and it's very effective. So we're done with butter and sugar mixture. We can now add the egg. Continue to beat until the mixture is light and fluffy. So once the egg mixture is done, set aside. Next, in a separate mixing bowl, add the mashed banana. Then add the baking soda and mix well to combine. So once done, sit for 2 minutes so that the baking soda will react with the acid in the bananas which in turn will give the cookies their leaf and rice. Next, in a large mixing bowl, add sifted flour. Then add salt and follow the ground cinnamon. Then mix them together until well combined. Next, add the banana mixture. Then follow the egg mixture. Mix well until just combined. Once the mixture is done, add the chocolate chips and the light crushed walnuts. Then follow the chalk nuts, mix well until just combined. By the way, you can buy these chocolate chips anywhere in your local supermarkets. And you can also use any of your prepared cookie base. Next, once the cookie dough is done, Drop in scooper onto the parchment paper lined baking sheet at least with 2 inches gap. Continue the same process for the remaining dough. By the way, before I forget, to prevent sticking, line the pan with parchment paper or silicone liners and lightly grease the pan with cooking spray. Next, preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. And bake for at least 8 to 12 minutes or until nicely golden brown. Let it cool on wire racks. This can be served as snacks. This goes well with fresh milk or black coffee. Share and enjoy! Let's eat! Additional baking tips How do you make cookies soft when baking? 
Use more brown sugar because brown sugar is hygroscopic, which means it takes in and retains moisture more so than granulated sugar. And how long do you leave cookies in the oven? Generally, cookies are baked in a moderate oven over 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius for about 8 to 12 minutes, depending on the size of the cookies. For chewy cookies, allow them to cool on the baking sheet for 3 to 5 minutes before transferring to a cooling rack. And last but not least, where do you put cookies in the oven? Cookies should always be baked on the middle rack of the oven. The middle rack offers the most even heat and air circulation which help cookies bake consistently. So hope those tips are helpful for you guys. That's it for today, so hope you enjoyed this recipe. You may visit my channel for more recipes or you may also comment down your request and I will do it for you as soon as I can. But please don't forget to subscribe, just click the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and have a pleasant day to all. Keep safe everyone, we'll see you on my next vlog. Bye!